Today I'm going to speak a little bit about what a conjunction is. I'm going to parse it. I'm going to give it a finite mean, i.e. definition. And then I'm going to show you an example of how a conjunction would be syntaxed. To begin with, Google defines conjunction as a word used to connect. Black's Law Dictionary also defines it. They use the word conjunctive, which is essentially the same thing as particles which serve for joining or connecting. And when we parse the word conjunction, the C-O-N means with, together. And then the junct, we can look that up, it becomes I-U-G-A-R-E, and then to the Proto-Indo-European root Y-E-U-G, which means to join. And then we have I-O-N, which is contract, which is the same thing as the I-V-E in the conjunctive. I have defined conjunction in the correct sentence structure, parse syntax grammar, as for the conjunction of this finite mean is with this joinder of these matters with this bridge or connection by this neutral location. And backwards, that is, for this neutral location of this bridge or connection is with these matters of this joinder with this finite mean by the conjunction. Now in syntax, conjunctions are specified as zero. They are bridges between this matter and that matter, this matter and that matter. This Full colon represents for the, if it's before the verb, and it represents by the, if it's after the verb, and uh, in this case it's for the, so that's a five, six, and then we have the fact, which is seven, then we have five, six, seven, then we have the verb, which is a two, and then we have a Positional, lodial, fact, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, seven, five, six, seven. Now, I like to simplify matters. In this instance, you could also do this, and then you would also have a, another 5, 6 right there. But I feel simplification is best, and so I leave it at that. Now, in the plain English fiction babble language, I'll syntax this sentence. No law or fact shall be tried in court. Now, I've seen several ways of doing it. I myself uh, did it differently until I gained more knowledge on the closures of what a conjunction actually is. Thank you, Raven. I like to find a common denominator that will work in all situations. And I think I've done so with this syntax. Adverb, verb, conjunction, adjective, pronoun, because that's future tense, adverb, verb in the past tense, adverb, verb, which DPV means dangling participle verb. Why this happens is because or is a conjunction, it's a bridge between this matter and that matter. It also serves as sort of a pause in the continuity of the evidence, not a complete stop, a bridge in the continuity of the evidence. It's not like a comma or a full stop or anything like that, but it allows this matter, this 
particle of the sentence, the adverb verb, is here. And then it's the <laughs> grammar fraud continues on over the bridge of the conjunction into this section, which we see this pronoun adverb scenario. The adverb modifies this pronoun. It modifies shall into a pronoun, which then makes fact a modifier of this pronoun because this is a factual term. So the conjunction acts as a bridge between this matter and that matter. It doesn't modify anything, and nothing modifies it. It's just a connector, a bridge between particles in fiction. Up here, it connects in fact. See, fact, seven, fact, seven, seven. Here, not so much. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the syntax or the parse or the correct sentence structure, feel free to contact me in the private and the confidential at the email address listed in the description below the video. Thanks again.